Alright, this is a review of a Savage Model uh, 116 Bear Hunter. Um, I mainly wanted to do this because there's, there's just not a lot of reviews on this particular rifle. Um, and when I purchased it uh, last year, I uh, did a lot of research on it, but there's just not a lot of vid videos on YouTube. So uh, I thought I would do one on it. Like I said, it's a 116 Bear Hunter Savage. Um, just starting over some of the basics on it. It's uh, chambered in 300 Winchester Magnum. Comes in several other chamberings, but uh, that's what I chose it in. Um, it has a three round internal magazine with hinged floor plate. Um, you can see the hinged floor plate right there with the bear logo on it. It is a little unusual in the fact that it has a 21 inch barrel and most of your 300s and magnum calibers have 24 inch and longer and it has a 21 inch barrel which is actually one of the reasons I like it. Um, it also has a factory muzzle brake which the barrel ends here you have your threads and your brake so it's a 21 inch barrel uh, brake and all make it about 23 nice thing about this brake is it's, it's very functional reducing the recoil and also you can if you can see through it there you can simply twist it and then brake is off and the purpose of that is is some states don't allow I, I think I'm correct on this some states and some different uh, hunts that you can go on don't allow the use of muzzle brakes so that way instead of removing it um, which can change the harmonics of your gun and how it shoots you can simply cut it off and you can still hunt with your rifle and you can side in with it on and then hunt with it off uh, I personally just leave it on all the time I like you know it reduces recoil I don't mind a little bit of extra blast like I said, it has a 21 inch barrel. Uh, it's a medium contour barrel. Has a slight taper on it. It is a fluted barrel. Um, it's uh, has a matte stainless finish. It's in a camouflage, camouflage uh, factory Savage Accu stocks, the way it comes, uh, which is uh, aluminum bedded from Savage. Pretty decent stock. It has the Accu trigger that adjusts to uh, two and a half pounds. Uh, at its lowest setting, which is where I have it. Um, I have a uh, Wheeler trigger pull gauge here that I use to check my triggers with, so I know it's at two and a half pounds. Uh, you know, it's a great rifle out of the box. Um, you know, I bought it. I've always liked the 300 Win Mag. I've had several of them, and this is one I'd never really seen before when I started doing some research, and I really liked it uh, with the 21 inch barrel. And the two inches of muzzle brake gives you about the overall length of a, a, a standard rifle, but in a magnum caliber. Now you do lose a little bit of your uh, little bit of power having that little bit of shorter barrel, but it's still you know very adequate. Um, you know this is my go-to deer rifle um, for hunting, which 300 mag is definitely an overkill for deer hunting. But I like the round, and I have other rifles that are chambered in it, so this is my go-to rifle. Um, you know, I've, I've shot deer at, at 40 yards, and I've shot deer at over 300 yards with this rifle. Uh, this, this is my hunting with it all last season, and killed uh, four deer with it. One deer was uh, at about 315 yards. Um, things I've added to it, uh, well, let me just tell you the things it comes with. The medium fluted barrel with the brake that can be cut on and off. The Accu Trigger blind magazine has swivel studs like every hunting rifle should. And the aluminum bedded uh, mossy oak breakup stock. I added the uh, this cheap pad here. It's just a cheap one, uh, nothing special, like 10, 15 bucks. Got a little compartment, holds a couple extra shells. Mainly, uh, just to give you a little bit more cone height here to get your eye aligned with the scope properly. Doesn't really add any more weight, and it you know it works great for a hunting setup. In my opinion, these these strap on uh, cheap pads like this. You know, for hunting guns, they're good. For precision work, they're probably not the best, but you can still get good accuracy, and they're great for hunting. Don't add a lot of weight. Um, I also added a Weaver 20 MOA uh, extended rail uh, for mounting my optics. I have a have Weaver uh, six hole tactical aluminum rings, and I have sitting in them a Night Force SHV. Let's see, this is the 
believe the four by 14 by 56. Um, it has the IHR, International Hunting Reticle, uh, MOA adjustments. Um, it has cap turrets, but you can remove the caps and you still have, you know, finger adjustable knobs that, for dialing for extended ranges. It has parallax adjustment on the side. It goes all the way from 25 to infinity. Um, like I said, this is my go-to hunting rifle, and for those wondering, it is unloaded, nothing in the chamber, nothing in the magazine. Um, I really like this rifle. Um, like I said, it's a pretty basic setup, you know, scope, rail, rings, and the cheek pad is all I've really added, um, but it's just a great rifle. Very good looking in my opinion. Um, got the nice... I guess that would be almost like a hardened look or something like that on the bolt. Very, very pretty. It's got a nice smooth action. The fluted barrel. Like I say, it's just a just a good rifle. Um, shot a lot of different ammos. I'm not a hand loader. Um, it's something I do want to get into, but I haven't yet. So generally, I, I do it the old way. I get a new rifle. I get a lot of different kinds of ammo. And I find what shoots best. And, um, like I said, it's mainly a hunting rifle, but it is very capable, you know, with the barrel, the triggers, and a decent, the Savage Factory stock, I, I think is a decent stock for hunting. Uh, it's just, you know, it's got a lot of features, but yet it's still a lightweight, you know, slim stock. But, uh, the ammo that I've pretty much come to the conclusion that I like to shoot are pretty extreme difference. Um, uh, you got your just standard off-the-shelf Walmart Winchester 180 grain. Uh, it'll shoot these at around one MOA, maybe just a little above one MOA. But you know, this is your off-the-shelf stuff. I mean, I think this stuff is like 20, 23 bucks at Walmart, which is pretty cheap for 300 Winchester Magnum, just soft point. But I started with that, and it, it does good. I've tried probably a dozen other different brands, and some others did good. And but these do okay. But the ones that I really like. And they're considerably more expensive. Um, these don't have a price on them. They're about 50 bucks a box, but they're these Barnes 300 Win Mag 180 grain uh, TSX boat tail bullets. And I really like those. Um, they get, they're all copper bullet. I've had great luck with them, always expanding. Uh, I've got a bullet here. This wasn't fired. Let's see. Let me get the right bullet. This wasn't fired from a 300 mag, but it is a Barnes bullet. And you can see, I mean, the expansion is just, it's textbook. It matches what it's supposed to do. I've tested these with lots of different guns. Always had good luck with the expansion. Uh, great on deer. Love it for deer hunting. You know, long range, close range, they work. Um, I really like those. That, that's my round. Like I said, these, these Winchesters, for the price, general hunting, it, it shot about it. Mm, MOA just a little over MOA these generally shot just a little bit under one MOA which for this setup it, it's really good I mean it's a fairly short barreled rifle and like I said it wasn't designed really to be a pack rifle it's still hefty um, scope and all it's around 10 pounds maybe just a little over I forget the exact weight you know completely as you see it but it's still you know light enough that you can carry it but heavy enough it's still comfortable to shoot that muzzle brake i was a little skeptical about that type of brake i don't usually like those kind of brakes on my rifles i do like muzzle brakes but just not that style and i thought i was going to change that but kind of find out that brake really does a good job of taking the recoil out um so i'm i'm definitely not going to change it looks good on the rifle and it functions most importantly um like I said, not really reviewing the scope, but I think the Night Force SHV for the money is a great scope. I mean, Night Force, obviously, you know, it really doesn't get any better than that. I've got other Night Force scopes, and the SHV is pretty much their bottom line, but it's it's still a super, super great scope. I've had no complaints with the scope whatsoever. Um, like I said, numerous, I've sold several deer with this setup. You know, low light conditions, that scope really does the job. Um... You know, it's just a great rifle, and there's not a lot of videos. You really don't hear about this rifle a lot. Bear Hunter is kind of a, a different configuration than your standard Savage uh, hunting rifles or 
or any other for that matter. It's just a little bit different, and I don't think it gets the credit that it deserves. It's it's a great rifle. Um, if you're looking at getting one, I would recommend it. Um, you know, it's it fills the role. It, it's still a relatively overall length short gun, uh, about like a standard hunting rifle, I would say, but it's in a magnum caliber. Um, I think the barrel profile is perfect for a hunting rifle, in my opinion. I don't like the super thin pencil barrels for hunting, but I also don't like the bull barrels for hunting. This is medium contour for a just general purpose. You know, buddy hits you up and wants to go hunting. You don't know if you're going to be sitting in a field or on a clear cut or in the hardwoods. This is my go-to rifle. I feel comfortable taking close range shots with it uh, or in, even at range when needed, you know, for hunting purposes. A little bit of an overkill in 300 mag for deer, a lot of people would say, but I, you know, anything worth doing, worth overdoing. So, uh, I really, really do believe that. So, it's a good rifle, and like I said, if you're considering one of these, I would recommend it. It's just a good, solid rifle. I mean, the action on it's right. Um, the only thing about this rifle that I may change in the future, from what you see it, I had a previous Remington rifle that I did a build on and I have this bolt knob it's a threaded bolt knob stainless it's got nice texturing on it I'm not going to take it out I added these rubber bands on it or o-rings just to give it a little bit more grip I may have the bolt handle threaded I'm a very big fan of these extended bolt knobs I may have the bolt handle threaded and add that but I haven't decided I've got other deer rifles that I hunt with and I don't know, I may may just keep this one like it is, or I may customize it a little and add that. But other than that, I really don't plan on changing anything. Like I said, it's just my go-to rifle. Um, it's heavy enough, but it's light enough, and it's short enough that it's still very maneuverable. Um, you know, in and out your truck, going up and down stands, blind, shooting houses. But it's still a 300 mag, excuse me, and it's still, uh, it's got enough barrel to get the job done. And I, I really think it's a good overall rifle. So, thanks for watching, and see you next time.